Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It's nice of you to join us once again for this week's Explore Tulsa. Trish, you should have brought your swimsuit. You know we're going to head out to Tulsa's first public swimming pool. Yes, Stevie, it was once a swimming pool. But now Waterworks Art Center is where Tulsans of all ages gather to learn and work on fine arts. Wait till you see my cannonball. It's truly a work of art. Well, part of the history of the building is that it was the first municipal water treatment plant for the city of Tulsa, um, just after we became a city, like about 1908. And then it was also the largest municipal swimming pool that the city of Tulsa had. So it was an attraction for people who would come here for recreation and also a place where people worked and provided, you know, good water for, for Tulsans to drink. I got involved um, just about four months ago when they hired me to, um, to, to run Waterworks again and uh, with everything that's happening in the Brady and downtown with the arts and all the new art facilities and on these wonderful studios that are cropping up and the artists that are really coming into their own in Tulsa, they realize that we're so close and yet we're just a little bit isolated. We need to do something to, to draw some attention to ourselves and to collaborate with all of those people. Well, this has been Waterworks Art Center since 1999. And so um, we've held classes here and we've just recently undergone a renovation where now we have in the last year and a half where we have now 7,300 square feet of space where people can learn and take classes and we've added to our pottery area. And as you see this big room here with this great glass, you know, this is a wonderful room for painting. Well, we have um, main areas of disciplines, if you will, of learning. Um, pottery and the clay arts is one of them, and we've always been strong in ceramics. We have pottery wheels, we have lots of pottery classes ongoing all the time. We have painting, which include, you know, watercolor, oil, acrylics, and then uh, we have wonderful classes like Italian mosaics, and then our fiber arts program is growing with weaving and we have harness looms, we have floor looms, and it's so exciting to, uh, to get the fiber arts program going really strong. They're available a lot in the evenings because we do sort of cater to the working professional who, after the busy day of work, needs a way to wind down and they like to take an art class. And then we have workshops on Saturdays and uh, so that's another way that everybody can be involved. And so we, and we do have classes during the day, but for the most part, it seems like most of our activity is in the early evening. Well, you'll always walk home with a good project, I'm sure. And a lot of our sessions, except for the workshops, it might be a one day or a two day thing. Um, you'll, uh, we've had book arts and calligraphy projects that have just been incredible. And um, all these, the paper making, and then there's a mono print class that's starting next week. So there's always something exciting. So you just need to check our schedule because we're always adding new instructors and we're always adding new classes all the time. I love this place. It's a great adaptive use of a building. And the city of Tulsa is brilliant in the way that they've utilized this wonderful building and created an art studio so that arts can be happening for everyone here. There's no end, it's just limitless what, what you might find out here. Mm -hmm.